In this video, I'll break down how to create a really cool fake stop motion effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So basically, it just turns your normal video clips into a really cool stop motion effect. You can, of course, go ahead and create this effect with just taking photos instead of using a video clip. However, that definitely takes time, so you don't have the time to do that. Or maybe you just completely forgot to use to kind of create the stop motion effect using photos, and you just, you just simply forgot, and you want to create that effect. Well, using this really cool preset that I have for sale on my digital store, simply called the stop motion effect, you can simulate that effect with a video clip. So don't worry, you don't take photos. Simply apply this preset onto your video clip and you can fake a stop motion effect. I'll go ahead and break down how to install this plugin as well as how to actually use a plugin and just some different little tips and tricks when it comes to creating this really cool effect. Once you bought the stop motion effect, it just simply send you an email to where you can download the strobe effect and the stop motion. Now these are both zip files. So all you would do is you just select in the file and then just double click on it in order to unzip the file and then select in the strobe one and unzip the file right there. So you can see you just have your strobe and your stop motion effect. Now you can choose to only download one of them or both of them. They're pretty much the same thing. I've just found sometimes in different circumstances, they can sometimes create a little bit of a different effect. They are pretty much the same. I would encourage you to download both because again, sometimes in different circumstances, they can create a little bit of a different effect, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same effect. So what you would do is head over here to go, so select on go, scroll down until you find home, so select on home, and what you would do is head over here to your movies folder, double click on your movies folder, and you should find your motions template folder. Now you want to right click on the folder and then click on get info, and you want to make sure it says motion templates dot localized. That is really important or else this is not going to work. Now once you have that, what you want to do is you want to open up your folder and then there should be your effects folder. All you would do is you take this strobe and then drag it into your effects folder take this strobe folder and drag it into your effects folder as you can see if I open up the effects folder here are all the effects so just simply take the folder take these folders and drag them into your effects folder now if it's not working what you want to do is select the folder right click and click on get info so make sure you select on get info and make sure it says effects dot localized so you want to make sure motions template is motions templates dot localized in names and extension and the effects folder also has effects dot localized in names and extensions and then simply drag the folders, select them both these folders, and again, drag them into your effects folder. Now it's really important, your version of Final Cut should be 10.6 or above. It may work in a version lower than 10.6, but if you have a version lower than 10.6, I probably wouldn't risk it. So again, make sure you're running Final Cut 10.6 or above in order to use um, these plugins, use the stop motion plugin. And what I would do too is before you install these plugins is just quit Final Cut, install the plugin, and then reopen Final Cut. Final Cut. That is just a really important step. If you follow all those steps, it should work. If you have any questions or something's not working, either send me a DM on Instagram or just simply leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to get it fixed. After you install the plugin, this is what your clip should look like. So just be a normal 24 or 30 frames per second clip. But let's say you want to kind of slow it down and make it look like it was shot using like, you know, 8 frames per second or 10 frames per second. What you would do is you head over here to the effects panel. So select in the effects panel and either apply the stop motion effect or the strobe effect. Now it doesn't really matter which one you use. I found sometimes they can create a little bit of a different look. So it's basically up to you to you know, figure out which one you like better. I'm going to go over here to the search bar. I'm going to go ahead and just type in stop motion. Simply apply the stop motion effect onto your clip. Now let's head over here to frames per second, and we're going to change the frames per second to 3. The lower the number, the slower the clip is going to be, the higher the number, the faster the clip is going to look. So it just depends on how slow you want the clip to look. And then as you can see, if I go ahead and play the clip, you have created or simulated a really cool fake stop motion effect. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Simply drag the stop motion effect or the strobe effect onto your actual clip and then just adjust the settings. And there you go. You have a really, really cool stop motion effect. So instead of again taking like photos to kind of create this effect, you can just simply do this with a video clip. It's just so much easier than doing it with actual photos. It, you know, it's definitely possible, but you, you let's say you have like 20 or 30 photos, you import them all in, line them all up. That can definitely take a lot of time. This is just so much easier and so much quicker. I just think this is a really cool effect. Again, this is for sale on my website, so you go ahead and buy it. It's just a really cool preset as well as a great way to help support the channel. Now, let's say you want to create this effect like using like a low shutter effect or use a stop motion effect in order to create a low shutter effect. I have a video, I'll link up in the cards to show you how to create a low shutter effect. Now, you will have to use the stop motion or the strobe effect, but if you're looking for like a, a low shutter effect and you don't just want to look like stop motion, I have a video 
breaking down how to create that effect. So either you can just simply apply this effect and fake stop motion, or maybe you want a low shutter effect. Again, I will link the I will link the video up in the annotated cards. So go ahead and check that video out. But that's pretty much it. It's just a simple preset, just simply applied onto your clip, and you have simulated a really cool fake or has faked a really cool stop motion effect. Anyways, that's how you fake a stop motion effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Hopefully you found the video helpful and informative. If you enjoy watching these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out my digital store where I have a whole bunch of plugins, presets, and overlays for Final Cut Pro 10. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.